We, in the wake of the news reports that BC Housing had rejected the bids for social housing at the village, I met with Housing Minister Rich Coleman. The city and BC Housing have had a very productive relationship. Uh, we uh, work together on the heat shelters. We have the 14 sites of new social housing in process right now, and we're going to continue working together on all of these projects and more. The housing units at the village are built, and they are ready to be occupied. And we want to get people in there as soon as possible, which is why the city is now independently taking the steps necessary to fill those homes. The city has ample experience in this. Our housing department currently operates over 800 units, and they have done so for over 30 years. Our city staff will continue to work with BC Housing, but to be clear, the city is taking the lead on getting people into the affordable housing at the village ASAP. One important note on that, that taking action on the affordable housing is not a financial burden uh, to the taxpayers or the city. The units are already bought and paid for, we own them, the operators take out the mortgage, uh, not the city, and it's paid back through the rents in those units. So let me just uh, close going back to the Millennium Water Market Housing. I said in 2009, and I want to repeat it again today, there is nothing simple or straightforward about the Olympic Village project. It is going to take time to sell the units and recover the costs, and we will do uh, everything that we can to mitigate the risk to taxpayers. We will not be rushed into a decision that might jeopardize the taxpayer. In my mind, the longer-term outcome here is clear. We will have a beautiful, vibrant, and sustainable community on the shores of Falls Creek, and it will be a credit to our city. In the meantime, we're doing everything that we can to get the best value for taxpayers.